What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to a gameplay video. I hope my audio is okay here. Um, so we haven't done much gameplay in a long time. Uh, honestly, it's just due to time. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't get to record a crackback today. So I thought, hey, I'll try and do some gameplay. So hopefully this works out. Uh, before we get into this, this whole layout uh, is temporary. I got to do a little bit more design work and stuff like that. I just want to get something up for you guys. So one, we can display our February proxies. If you're interested in picking those up, uh, all you got to do is go to patreon.com slash it resolves uh, and you can check out the tiers, do all that kind of stuff. Uh, we certainly don't want to just be asking for money or anything like that. This is just a tangible thing to give back to you guys to hopefully give you uh, a feeling like you're getting something back. We, we just don't like taking money for, for the sake of taking money. Uh, we also do have our website down here if you would like to check it out, but uh, I want to talk about um, the deck that we're going to be playing. Ooh, hopefully. Yes, there we go. Uh, so let me go back to decks. This deck is silly. Uh, it's not very good, but it is very silly. So, <laughs> excuse me. It, uh, it revolves, it's a Mirror March deck. So the whole idea is to like go crazy over the top with value and just get a ton of awesome stuff. Obviously, that's not going to happen a lot of the time, so uh, we've got some early game kind of rampy cards. Uh, keep us alive against the red decks, especially. Uh, and then Gilded Goose gives us those extra food tokens, things like that. Uh, Cloud Seer, or Cloudkin Seer, not a super exciting card in this deck unless you have Mirror March out, uh, but it does work well with things like Omnath, uh, Risen Reef, uh, things like that. So uh, that's kind of why that's there. This one little touch or uh, hit or miss, I will say. Uh, Risen Reef, obviously just a crazy value engine, and if you can get it off with Mirror March, uh, you can do some super broken stuff. Hopefully we'll get to see that. Uh, Uro, just because value, uh, and it does, again, any of these creatures essentially just does a lot more uh, if you've got Mirror March out, uh, which is sweet. Omnath, obviously very focused on elementals, but also gives you a little bit of card draw uh, later in the game, and then just helps boost your team. Uh, you can actually just win off of Omnath if you get enough Mirror March hits. Uh, Wicked Wolf fights a bunch of stuff that you don't control, so obviously it's going to keep you in the game, especially against those early game uh, uh, threats. Uh, but also, it's just a really solid card, and again, Mirror March makes it amazing. Biogenic Ooze, this is kind of a silly card that I just love to play, so I'm going to try it out. Uh, Cavalier of Thorns, Elemental, so obviously it has a lot of synergy with Omnath and Risen Reef. Uh, and also just has a lot of value. And then to really end the game, if we weren't already doing that enough, uh, we have the Forerunners here. So this just pumps your team. If you can get a couple hits, even just one or two off of the Mirror March, you're in great shape. So uh, obviously the regular land spread, Fable Passage to thin things out and a few Scry lands, nothing too crazy. But we are going to try and do some ranked play with this. I'm like Bronze 3 or something. Uh, I've been playing a lot more limited. Um... Sp the Theris Beyond Death set, I've really, really enjoyed playing. Uh, in fact, I just did... I was kind of sad to see they took ranked draft down, but I just did a traditional draft and went like 6-1 and one or something uh, by forcing like mono white, essentially, uh, which is kind of ridiculous, but it worked out. Uh, ooh, is this good? If we draw a land, it's amazing. If we don't draw a land, it's quite bad. Um, you know what? Screw it. We're here to have fun, so we're going to try it. Um, this is all just to be silly. I think we're going to try and play like three, maybe four games, depending on how quickly they go. Um, it looks like they mulligan too, so yeah, let's, let's try it. Uh, obviously the Grazer gets us up to turn two essentially, uh, early, and then hopefully if we pick up a lamb, we can Risen Reef, and then we're, we're set. Uh, Cloud Seer to follow that up would be amazing. So, we'll see what we get. Um, let me know, by the way, guys, how you guys are enjoying uh, the... Oof, not great. Uh, the Theris Beyond Death Limited. Um, I, I've i thoroughly enjoyed it, but I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Um, also, if anybody watched Worlds, uh, really, really sweet. Last week, uh, the deck that won it was not the deck I thought would win it, uh, if I'm honest. Oh. Yes. See, we never didn't have it. Come on. Uh, we play out Risen Reef here. It'd be great to get... Yep, there we go. A land. Enters tapped. We do still need a red source. 
uh, for a hopefully future either Mirror March or Omnath, but we'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. I am not worried yet. I will be, I'm very sure. Uh, yep. I've seen a lot of this, like, synergy going around. It's sort of like an aura, Sentinel's Eyes kind of stuff. It's really cool, though. I like it. I built just a green-white value deck, but it wasn't really that uh, focused on that. Well, I think here we just play out Cavalier. Hope we get another land. Uh, draw Gilded Goose, that's cool. Fable Passage, look at there. Oh, we lost a Mirror March, that's not good. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. We will pull out a forest. We do run just a few basics, obviously, for uh, Cavalier. Or excuse me, not for Cavalier, uh, for uh, Fable Passage. So now, what do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we get an untapped land, we can four runners, which would be pretty sweet. Um, otherwise, we can Risen Reef into Cloudkin Seer and just see what we get. Hopefully get a lot of value off of that. I've, I've always been impressed with Risen Reef. Obviously, a lot of people have been. Uh, that card's broken <laughs> uh, if it sticks around. They're certainly getting a lot of value. Which is great. Very, very good. They are short on lands, it looks like here. Yep, yep. Well, I guess they get to scry, so hopefully they get something. We'll see. Um, also, I forgot to mention, um, I just ordered a lot of these stickers. Um, I unfortunately ordered them a little big. Uh, so they're like five by five it resolve stickers. If you're interested in picking one up, just like email us or message us. I'd be super interested to see. Um, honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna ship them or anything like that, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Don't worry about it. So I think here, oh, okay. Well, we won. Um, <laughs> Yay. Okay, that was a pretty quick game. We didn't really get to do what we were going to do. That's just value, but we'll uh, we'll hopefully get to Mirror March. I love Mirror Marching. It's just so, like, it's random, obviously, but it's so fun. They're, like, like 90% of the time you get, like, no, like, maybe one. But, like, you very rarely get extra copies of your creatures, but if you do, it is stupid good. Oh... As much as I love all of these cards, we cannot keep this. We've got no early game. Ugh. Same kind of deal, but I think we have to keep this. I think we get rid of the Mirror March, as much as I really hate that. Um, and really hope we draw some early game stuff. Oh, definitely hope we draw some early game stuff. Well, that's not going to do it. Already gonna say we're probably not in good shape here. But we'll see what we get. Um, I mean that's something. <laughs> we'll go ahead and play a second breeding pool. Next turn we probably play Mountain and then Cloudkins here. Well that's not that amazing. So let's just do this. Oops, there we go. And I'm happy to trade off this Cloudkin Seer, less so here uh, because of Omnath, but normally it's like, eh, I don't really care too much. Especially because Omnath is just going to shoot one of these creatures anyway, so like, if they swing in with both, I'm just going to trade the, uh, the Cloudkin off with the Audacious Thief. Which I kind of, yeah, I figured they would do that. That's fine. We'll go ahead and trade these off. I'm totally fine with that. Just save ourselves a little bit of damage here. Uh, let's do Forest, and let's do Omnath, and this will blow this little guy up. Omnath is sweet, by the way. I absolutely love Omnath. Um, like, crazy, crazy good. I, I was kind of playtesting this deck against, like, bot matches and unranked matches, just to, like, see how it would go. Um, and there was one game in particular 
where I I think it was a bot match so obviously you're you're basically gonna win no matter what but uh, I just wanted to see how like what the ceiling was for the deck and it literally just like won the game off of like 10 Omnath copies it was ridiculous like absolutely stupid but it was fun uh, Ura is very nice, but I think let's be efficient and hopefully hit another land with Cavalier. Um, I think that's definitely what we want to do. This That also blocks fairly efficiently. Yeah, so we're going to do this. I hate paying life here, but uh, we do have Ura to gain a little bit of life back, which is nice. We'll go ahead and Fable Passage. That's fine. Activate. Let's get... If we've got Forest, let's get it so we can get the Gilded Goose out. Yep. Gilded Goose out. And then again, because we don't have Wicked Wolf in our in our hand, uh, what's really nice is we can just like sacrifice this food, gain a little bit of extra life if need be. Um, they'll probably kill the Gilded Goose if they can. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. This is an interesting deck. I don't normally see Audacious Thief as part of these. Um, that being said, Meyer's Grasp isn't exactly amazing either. Thank goodness we have Cavalier. So they're just trying to draw cards here. Even if they gave it Death Touch, I don't care that much uh, because I've got a second Cavalier, so it's like, eh, whatever. That's fine. They're drawing tons of cards, which is sweet. This deck is uh, very cycle heavy. Myers Grass. Are they gonna? Ah, okay. All right. Well, let's do this again. We'll Cavalier again. See what we get. Let's do Steam Vents. We're gonna lose a Mirror March here, which kind of sucks. Do I want to pay two so I can Uro? I think I do. Let's do it. We'll pay. That's fine. Let's get this down. Gain three life, draw a card, and put a land down. Put that down. So we've got a million mana, <laughs> which is awesome. I don't think I want Uro. At this point, we kind of just want Mirror March, um, however we can get it, just so we can like start copying a ton of stuff. If we have Mirror March and then just Gilded Goose for a ton, like, I'm in. That'd be great. Uh, or we could Uro from the graveyard. Uh, obviously, we only get to keep one, but we get all of those triggers. That's what's so sweet about this deck is, like, it kind of doesn't matter if your stuff lives or not. You just want all these, you know, millions of triggers. Very often, I've found that you can draw, like, maybe not your entire deck, but a large portion of it, and it's kind of insane. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. Get rid of those. They're tapped out. I guess I don't know if they played a land this turn, to be honest. Put another target. Uh, well, hello, Mirror March. Let's do that. Oops. There we go. It's fine by me. Yep, that's cool. <coughs> See what they do. Uh, obviously, the Teamer deck in Standard right now is the Teamer Reclamation deck, but this is so much more fun. <laughs> yep, let's do it. Mirror March into Gilded Goose. And let's see if we get any. Nope. <laughs> It was worth a shot. Okay. Uh, so, what do we do here? I think next turn we definitely, if we don't draw anything exciting, we're just going to Uro. Uh, I think either way, because it draws us cards, it's going to be worth it. So, we'll see what we get. But, um, if they... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, also, the reason that we're able to do gameplay again, by the way, uh, is because I've revamped my entire setup here. 
Uh, still kind of working on it a little bit, but trying to do a little bit more so we can get better content out for you guys. Uh, I do apologize we didn't do the Kraken pack today, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it's worth it for you all. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Save ourselves the damage here. Again, we just want to be safe. There's the potential that we could, you know, gain a ton of life off of Uro here, but I don't know that, so... Gotta be safe. We will gain three as long as we play it, so that's good. Uh, and then at least draw one card. But obviously, it's very dangerous against these kind of decks. You can, you can go down to nothing very, very quickly. Oops, there we go. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and crack this here. Just gain an extra three. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, let's do this for, uh, yeah, let's do this first because we know we wanna gain some life here. Five. There we go. This will give us a little bit more options. Okay. Uh, yep. Put it on. What do we want? We do not want an arboreal grazer. No copies. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the downfall of this deck. <laughs> uh, yep. Take action. Enters tapped. Still nothing. Um, okay, well. Uh, yeah, I think we just pass. We want to save ourselves the damage here uh, and give ourselves as many live draws as possible. So uh, we'll see what we get. Really interesting matchup here, slowly because they're just pinging away for like a million, uh, which is good. Um, obviously, it's a great deck, but is it enough? More importantly, is our deck enough? <laughs> uh, interesting. Yep. Oh, nope. Let's go to blocks. Gonna block here. Gonna block here. We're gonna block here. One more block there. I'm trying to get rid of these little pingers. Um, hopefully we don't die. Yep. 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 Okay, well... We're down to it here. If they kill Arrow, uh, that's not. We'll create a food here. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so. I mean, obviously we're gonna play this. <laughs> um, what do we kill though? Or do we just target them? Let's just go for it. Let's target them. Let's see what we get. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so. <laughs> obviously we're gonna keep the original. We're just gonna shoot them for a bunch. Uh, take action, enter tapped. So this with Risen Reef is like stupid. Um, we'll put this on put it on on that. Oh, and we got Neuro. <laughs> and a second Mirror March. Okay. So, if I do this, I only have one. If I do this. Uh, yes. I want to keep that one to get rid of the pacifism. Draw a card. Put that on the battlefield. Uh, put it on Risen Reef, that's fine. No copies, but that's okay. 
<laughs> now... Mm. Yeah, let's try it. Let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five. Submit. Gain some life. Draw some cards. Sweet, that's actually great. Draw another card. <laughs> okay, so we got another token. We're still gonna keep the original, but we still get the trigger. Okay, now. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't know, do we, I don't think we have a forest we can get. Oh, we do. Oh, sweet. Uh, yep. Another counter there. We've not played a land this turn, so we'll just go ahead and play that. <laughs> this is what's crazy about this deck. Like, I, I love this. This is so fun to me. Uh, okay. No copies, that's fine. Um, okay. Now. We don't have good attacks, so we'll pass. Exiles, copies, but there was none. Um, and so next turn, our hope is to get, we might, so we'll second Mirror March, and then we'll do something like Wicked Wolf maybe, or uh, Risen Reef, and just get hopefully tons more value. Yep, that's fine. So they're going to gain some life, I'm guessing, here. Turn target creature with your own. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Really, just an Omnath would be great. <laughs> we would just win on the spot, but um, we'll see what we get here. I mean, I guess you might as well here. Since you're down to two, it doesn't really matter. With these guys, it's really annoying. Um, we can Wicked Wolf and kill some of this, but... Yep. Uh, pass. We'll block here. I don't want to be susceptible to Myers Grass. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna like let everything die here. I know we're gonna lose a bunch, but like I'd rather them. Yeah. Solve all. We gain a ton, we lose some. That's fine. Again, we don't really care about their life total as much. Like, it's much more. Can we get the value off of the, the Mirror March stuff? So we'll see. We've got outs. The great thing about this deck as well is we've got outs to gain life. So we talked about Uro already. Uh, Gilded Goose, if you can land a bunch of Mirror Marches for one mana, you can get so many food tokens uh, and just gain a ton of life. Like it's, I mean, yeah, you got to pay the mana, but you're only paying one mana for Gilded Goose. So like, uh, it's, it is a very fun deck. But we will see how this goes. Yep, that's cool. This is a really cool deck, though. I like uh, the addition of the Nightmare Shepherd. Super sweet. Uh, looks very, very good. All right. Land. Go ahead and play it. Uh, yep, you get a you get a token. That's fine. Play Mirror March. All right. What leaves me the most? Maybe it's just Biogenic Goose. No, let's uh, let's do this because we want to draw cards here, and if we can hit a second Omnath, we're like golden. Done. That's fine. Nope. Okay, we get a couple here. Uh, so this is where all these triggers start to stack up with these resin reefs, uh, as you can see. Done. Not good. Not good. Not good. Wow. Uh, yeah, put it on the battlefield. Give it to you, because why not? I 
don't think we want. We already have an Uro in hand, so I'm not worried about that so much. Again, we're really just digging for Omnath at this point. Oh, third Mirror March. That's kind of sweet. Okay, well. Um. <laughs> if we do this, we can still play. So let's just... Let's gain some life. We'll keep this one, obviously. Oops. There we go. Scry. Doesn't matter what we put it on. No. Okay, and then I can't Cloud can see her here. I can Wicked Wolf, but I don't want it to fight creatures. This is where this deck just gets weird though, because I, <laughs> I have not the best idea of what needs to happen. All right, let's go for it. Done. We have no cards left. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. We got a lot of tokens. <laughs> a lot of triggers. None of them do anything, which is fine. This is ridiculous. I love this deck so much. <laughs> and just for good measure, we get a couple more. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. We're just gonna. We're we're just gonna see what happens. It's not a great thing, but we just lose here, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Whoops! I that was just stupid. I shouldn't have attacked with Uro, but that was really fun. That was worth it. Ah, oh, that was really fun. Okay, so we need more Omnath. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. That was a really fun match. Uh, I obviously screwed that up by attacking with her, but it's fine. Uh, I forgot that the trigger hits when you attack as well, so. My bad, my bad, but we're just here to have fun anyway. Um, alright. Let's see. That does give you an idea, though, of, like, the, the high level what this deck can do, uh, if you get the right, um, if you get the right draws. This isn't an amazing hand, but I do think it's worth keeping. We've got the Grazer to drop out a second land, then go into Cloudkin Seer if we can, so like, yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, we'll pay two. Grazer into Fabled Passage. <sighs> Maybe I should have played Steam Vents there, but it's okay. What you got? Yep. That's fine. Alright. Activate. We will get... We've got red and we've got... We'll get second green here because we do have uh, Cavalier of Thorns to eventually get to. Let me know what you guys think of this deck. Um, I did just misplay there, but like, hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. It's a it's a fun one. It's a really fun deck. Uh, I had a version of this for quite a while, but it was a lot slower. Uh, it still ran the Omnath stuff, but like we now have a lot more, uh, I'll say, stronger options for some other really cool stuff. So we'll play the Seer here. See what we draw first. Ooh, that's pretty good. I love that it asks me if I want to attack with the Grazer every single time. Send a message. Um, let's see what they got. They're going to kill Cloudkins here, I'm assuming. Yep, shock it. That's cool. Totally fine. Good card. Uh, Anax is a really sweet card. I like it a lot. 
Still no attacks. So we didn't draw a land there, which kind of sucks, but... Because um, I would have loved to have played the Cavalier here. I think we just play Wicked Wolf and fight... I think we just fight this. I'm kind of just trying to get rid of or neuter this little guy. Yeah, we get hit for a damage, but like that's fine. Here go. Yeah. Uh, no attacks. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I care if I trade this off? I don't really think so. I don't know though, it stops a lot of their stuff. We'll we'll see. Okay, well. Alright, let's play Cl Cloudkin Seer, see what we draw. Hopefully a land. Ooh. He has a Gilded Goose though, that's not bad. Gives us outs with the Wicked Wolf. I'm not gonna attack here. Um, again, they're the aggressive deck. I just kind of want to stay alive long enough for it to, to matter. So. <clears throat> we do outpower these aggressive decks pretty easily, just with like so obviously Cloud can see or Gilded Goose, they die pretty easily, but uh, it's fairly difficult for them to deal with a lot of this stuff. That's fine. Um, can't do anything about that. Next turn though, we've got Cavalier of Thorns, as, assuming we keep the Gilded Goose around. Um, I think we just take this. Okay. Uh... Let's go ahead and do this first. Auto bay is fine. Yep. Do this. Don't want that. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get in there with the Cloudkins here. Okay, let's see what they got. If they can deal with a Cavalier, they're in decent shape, but if not, um, we really need to draw something other than like just a decent creature. That makes it really annoying. Uh, we do have the Cavalier to block it, which is nice. We've got some good stuff in the graveyard as well, so okay. Well, I wish we would have drawn a land there, I guess, but we'll play Mirror March out there. No attacks. Land into Mirror March Gilded Goose would be pretty sweet if we can just get a bunch of uh, a bunch of um, food. Could not think of the word for some reason. <laughs> yep, that's fine. I think they had forgot this has reach. Maybe. Pay two. All right, let's see what we get. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, attack with Cloudkin, so you're here. I'm not going to play the Grazer. Um, the Grazer is awesome if you've got like like an Omnath out or like an Uro where you're drawing a bunch of cards, but like you still have lands stranded. They're honestly more for the early game though. Um, they're not great at this point. In this at this point in the game, they do block effectively for a lot of things, which is nice. Things that I want here. A Wicked Wolf into like a few Mirror Watches would be sweet. <laughs> well, all right, let's we'll see if we can do it. Yep, and there we go. <laughs> so for three mana, we got four two one flyers and drew three cards. Excuse me, five. So that's pretty good. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, cancel. Let's actually do this first. That way we don't have to use up the food if we don't have to. We'll get a green. Let's play Biogenic Ooze. See if we can get a few Coke tucking. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> And they each come into play with a whole other... Oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, yeah, we'll just play this out there now. That's fine. I was going to save the food, but like, meh, it doesn't matter. Enters tapped. No copies. And this, obviously, we don't care if there's copies of it. We're going to all attack. We're going to leave that back. We're going to leave that back. We're going to leave that back. Okay. See what they get. <laughs> Down to two. <laughs> okay, so now we have a whole bunch of good stuff. So they really need a good play <laughs> and that's not gonna do it. Oh. That's fine. Actually. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, they, they definitely just lost there. All right, sweet. Uh, so two out of three is not bad. I definitely kind of threw that last game or the, the second game, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is just kind of a jank deck, but it seems to be kind of fun, so. Uh, feel free to build it, see what you guys think. But thanks so much for watching, guys. If you do want to check out those proxies, again, uh, patreon.com slash it resolves. You can check out all the tiers there, everything like that. Uh, please don't feel like you have to. That's just, again, our way of giving something back for those that do pledge money to us. So thank you to all of you guys. Uh, and feel free, again, to check out our website as well. So thanks so much, guys. I will see you hopefully in the next gameplay video uh, coming up very soon, but we'll see. So thanks a lot.